Hello guys, welcome back, it's Adam, and this is my Azure Fundamentals course. Our focus for today is building IoT solutions with Azure. Stay tuned! In episode 14, we focus on Internet of Things, so the general concept behind IoT and what are the services within Azure that helps us build IoT-based solutions. And the key services that we will learn about today are IoT Hub, IoT Central, and Azure Sphere. But let's backtrack a little bit and start from the beginning. So what is Internet of Things? Internet of Things is a network of internet-connected devices, so-called IoT devices. Those devices are embedded within everyday objects and they enable those objects to send and receive data from the cloud, such as settings or telemetry. Most of us have some sort of IoT device at home, whether it's something as simple as a smart lighting, maybe a mobile phone, a plant watering system, or something more complex like a door lock or a smart car. Most of us have some sort of IoT device at home already. And to build solution based on those IoT devices, you need a set of specific services for that purpose. One of those services that we'll learn about today is IoT Hub. Azure IoT Hub allows for bidirectional communication between the cloud and IoT devices, and then allows developers to take advantage of this information to provide insights, monitoring, and develop custom solutions for their IoT platform. The key things that you need to remember about IoT Hubs are, first of all, it's a managed service for bidirectional communication between the cloud and IoT devices. Second of all, it's a platform as a service offering in Azure for IoT development. Thirdly, it's highly secure, scalable, and reliable service for IoT. IoT Hubs perfectly integrates with a lot of Azure services and has a lot of SDKs for the most popular languages on the market so that your teams do not need to learn any new language to take advantage of IoT Hub for their development purposes. And it also has support for multiple common standards on the market when it comes to communication protocols. And just by looking at this list, we can very easily see that Microsoft created IoT Hub to help developers build custom IoT solutions. The demo that I have prepared for you is using something called Raspberry Pi Azure IoT Simulator a small web page created by Microsoft so that you can simulate IoT devices and play around with IoT services in Azure without a need to buy a physical IoT devices. On the left hand side, you have small visual representation of a Raspberry Pi. And on the right hand side, you have a small block where you can edit the code to send data to IoT Hub. With this, we can create new IoT Hub service. Let's go to Azure portal on the left hand side, select menu, create a resource and in Azure marketplace, type in IoT Hub. Once the IoT Hub is found, let's select the template and create new IoT Hub service. Let's select create, create new resource group called AZ900 IoT. Hit OK. Select the region for me that will be West Europe and provide the name. In this case, I will call it AM Demo IoT. And for this demo, that's all we need. So let's hit review and create. And if everything looks good, hit create and just wait for the resource provisioning to finish. Once our resource has been provisioned, we can select go to resource to start managing IoT Hub. In order to play around with it, the first thing we need to do is to register the device. To do that, on the left hand side, go to the IoT devices section and add a new device by hitting on a new button. Let's give it a name. I will call it demo device. And for the basic configuration, that's pretty much it. So we can hit save to register the device. And once the device is added, we can open this to copy the primary connection string that we will use in a Raspberry Pi to start sending data and authorize ourselves to IoT Hub. So let me use the button on the right hand side to copy the connection string. When I copy the connection string, I can go back to the simulator to replace that connection string in that code here. Just simply paste it in and hit run. Right now, we are sending data from our IoT simulator into our hub. And it's really that easy. In most cases, just a few hundred lines of code 
and you're sending data from your IoT device to the cloud. Now all the data is gathered and governed by IoT Hub. Next step as a developers would be connecting to IoT Hub from their external services, processing data and reacting to that data. But it's really all that you need to do to take advantage of IoT Hub. In just a couple of minutes, you can provision IoT Hub and send data directly to it. But if building solutions from scratch is not something that your organization wants to do, then you should look at Azure IoT Central. IoT Central is very similar to IoT Hub, but it works on an entirely different level. It still allows for connectivity of your IoT devices with the cloud, but IoT Central as a service provides you a set of templates for building applications using a standardized templates. It's an application delivery platform for IoT for your device management and centralization purposes. This is an amazing solution for organizations that want to take advantage of IoT and they don't want to build applications from scratch. So the key things that you need to know about IoT Central is that this is an IoT application platform. It's a software as a service solution that allows you to use industry specific app templates to get out of the box solutions for your IoT devices and manage them at scale in the cloud. Microsoft with the service wants to allow their customers to build IoT solutions without the need to have very deep technical knowledge about IoT solutions. So the main goal of the service is to provide you with application templates so you can very easily connect, manage and monitor your IoT devices at scale. And similarly to IoT Hub, this service is highly secure, highly scalable and very reliable so you can build your applications without worrying about the platform itself. And lastly, I just want to mention that this service is actually built on top of IoT Hub and 30 other Azure services. Which brings me to the last service called Azure Sphere. In the end, Azure Sphere is not really a service alone. It's a set of components allowing you to build secure IoT applications. Let me give you an example. Let's say we have washing machines and we're building applications that will run on those washing machines. First thing that Azure Sphere delivers are Azure Sphere microcontroller units. Simply said, those are simple chips that are built according to Microsoft standards and specifications. Microsoft then delivers this specification to hardware vendors so that they can build their chipsets according to the specification. Additionally, Azure Sphere delivers an operating system. Microsoft manages this operating system to make sure that it's always up to date and that this system has the latest security patches applied. Then you build your application on top of that. And the third thing that Azure Sphere delivers is so-called Azure Sphere Security Service. This service is used for a secure communication between the cloud and the devices themselves so that your support teams can apply updates to your application through that service, but also Microsoft can apply updates to the operating system again through Azure Sphere Security Service. All of that is done to achieve one thing, to build secure end-to-end -end IoT solutions by creating a standardized certified chips by creating secure operating system and providing secure channel to communicate between devices in the cloud. So as you can see, Azure Sphere is something bigger than just a service. It's a set of tools for secure IoT solutions. To summarize our IoT services, IoT Hub is a managed service for bi-directional communication of IoT devices in the cloud. It's a platform as a service used to build custom IoT applications. But your organization can also leverage existing industry standard specific templates for building IoT solutions. In that case, they can use IoT Central, which is an IoT application platform with dozens of functionalities for provisioning management and monitoring of IoT solutions. And lastly, we have learned about Azure Sphere, which is our end-to-end -end approach for building secure IoT solutions by providing both hardware, operating system and communication channels for securing our IoT solutions. Materials for this episode are found under episode 14 on my website. And, that, and that's it. If you want to move to the next episode, simply hit icon on the side or follow the playlist. If you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. Next up, we will tackle on big data and analytics solutions. Stay tuned.